right guys welcome back to the united states of america we're going to be kicking off episode 11 of the united states of america before we get started go ahead and leave a like subscribe to the channel if you're new i want to get the 5,000 subscribers by july 4th so let's hit 5,000. we have a we have a subscriber war with Gen Z Patriot. So let's hit 5,000 before he hits 5,000. He is at 4,100. So we need to get the 5,000 subscribers before July 4th. So let's do it. All right, and without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the episode. Uh, so last time, essentially, um, I know for a fact we hit the year 2023 and we are now in April. 2023 so this is this episode should be a focus on uh space research we are going to be going to the moon in the next couple of months we're going to be going to the moon by uh august uh or yeah august uh november 26 about uh, thanksgiving of 2023 uh, let's go ahead and increase the budget by about um let's do 4.8 uh, let's go ahead and click this 4.8 billion dollars um, additional funding for the Artemis program uh, we are doing this 100% by ourselves and that will put us at 60 billion dollars um, <clears throat> okay so apparently what do we have what do we have an issue with so we have the protection against cosmic rays and solar particles that is the issue of our uh, so we have technological research. So we're trying to get to the moon before. So let's go ahead and find uh, that specific piece of uh, research. So we need to go, let's do supporting human life in space. I know it's there. Supporting human life in space and matter sciences. So that those are the two that need to be uh, funded. We are funding supporting human life in space fully and i know for a fact that we are funding matter sciences fully we should get that by 2023 so yeah we we're probably i don't know if uh this is going to lower the risk factor for the orion mission so we're going to hit the orion mission before we hit the uh artemis landing so the artemis landing will be very interesting let's go ahead and look um go over to space research let's see what else is on the list of missions that we are about to launch so we have a uh, axius vogel mission that is a uh, eight nearly eight billion dollars actually about seven billion dollars zero percent uh risk of failure and we are going to launch by 2024 uh, maybe we can affect it but we also might not uh, journey to mars uh mars 2020 mars 2020 well actually let's go ahead and see what's going on in terms of journey to mars and i know that space y might hit there by 2024 do we have journey to mars so we don't have an exploration robot and i think it's too late to even try to get into that game um dream chaser that is scheduled to launch in 2024 i'm actually not familiar with what dream chaser is let's go ahead and do an additional 98 million dollars into funding it's very low funding uh for the dream chaser program so let's go ahead and fix that we also have the europa lander that is going to launch in uh, August of 2023. Can we get that a little bit? Uh, yeah, let's try to do that six, uh, about two months earlier. Um, let's do July or July 4th of 2023. And then let's go ahead and increase the budget for that mission by about 10.2 billion dollars that'll be the increased amount of funding that we give the europa lander program and why are we doing so much money into one little lander program we want to discover life on europa this is a, a space probe with return of samples to uh, the planet earth and we have the technological research to do that but we need to get there first so that will be 
increased risk at 16%, but it is not a manned mission, so you're not risking any lives, you're only risking the money that we're spending on that program. Let's go ahead and check the economic situation, and while we do that, let's go ahead and play this and just kind of like see what's going on. Because we need to start uh, getting a move on uh, in terms of time. We have a whole quarter to go through. Roll set for 2025. Dream Chaser reduction of risk at 0%, and Europa Lander is now at 0% with that $10 billion additional funding. You can do better by our. Uh, well, actually, did that? Did he just downgrade our credit rating? 4.8, 4.18 uh, national growth, so that is good. But we are getting some more growth. 4% is very healthy for the United States. Terrorist group. Perspective analysis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Uh, Belarusian communist forces. You know what? No, no. We're not going to do that because we have very bad relations because they are very pro-Russia. So we don't want to assist them in any way. But I also don't want to be funding any communist forces in uh, any other country because that is against uh, my policy, my foreign policy. Um, this is going to be the first video that I make since the 2021 edition was announced. I cannot wait for coalitions. It's actually going to make me play more parliamentary countries. Can win. I cannot wait for coalitions, and I also cannot wait uh, for free trade agreements. The management of free trade agreements will be one of the best features that I feel like uh, will uh, be in the game, because I cannot wait to sign specific uh, because usually i like to sign trade contracts with other countries and name it the free trade agreement um but uh this will be a game changer in terms of foreign relations and uh, trade um i also cannot wait to uh sign uh new uh, there's going to be like a research partnership so like i can if i'm playing as like france or something like that and i can sign a like research partnership with the United States, and then we can uh, like collab collaborate in terms of a uh, technological research. Why is France and Germany? What do they have? Uh, so it's a center party, and I'm center left. And Germany, they did have an election. Uh, Mrs. Kermel is still in office. Let's go ahead and invite her to a meeting, and then let's also going to invite the Prime Minister of Ireland to Washington, D.C., and then we can uh, form some trade relations with them. We actually have neutral relations with the Republic of Ireland, so I want to improve those relations. Should I Should I do a uh, Ireland series? Would that be interesting? I don't know if Gabe's done that. I think he has. Maybe he has. Yeah, I think, I think Gabe has done an Ireland series. Um, uh, next series that I'm going to be doing after this, we're going to be doing the Federative Republic of Brazil. So uh, look forward to that. That is going to be the first series that we are going to do upon the release of the 2021 edition. So look forward to that. And we're going to be signing a lot of trade contracts with other uh, nations. Uh, France. Oh, he's inviting me to a meeting. Okay. We got uh, a lot of meetings with foreign nationals today. So let's go ahead and attention to literacy. We're going to uh, look at you after this meeting. No. Love our coffee, love your country, there. splendid landscapes, and uh, make the same decision as myself at the next G7 yes, Summit. Yes, it's a good idea. I'll do my best. Thank you. And what can we import from the Federal Republic of Germany? Can we import anything of use from Germany? So they have a very high sale price. We have a very... So that's not going to be a good contract. Uh, building housing and roadway. Coal. Uh, already under contract. We're importing 191... 95,000 uh, million tow of uh, coal. Consumer electronics. We actually have a surplus of consumer electronics. I'm gonna look that sector after this. Um, do, 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 do. Fish. 
I need to think about importing some food. No, maybe I won't. Maybe I won't doing, be doing any imports. Uh, renegotiate a alliance. Can we get an additional base in your territory? We cannot. That is a failed meeting. Attention to illiteracy. By improving the access to education, we can reduce illiteracy and promote a future national elite education. It's a major challenge that is necessary for us to face it if we, if we wish to be among the great nations of the 21st century, Mr. President. Let's go over to education and give that a little bit more attention. So $1.3 billion to teacher training. Let's do $300 million to supervision and guidance. Uh, let's do a billion dollars to back up classes. And about $1.1 billion to aids and grants. And what is that? That is... 300, 600 million dollars to uh, school equipment, and about four billion dollars to renewal and maintenance. And then let's do 200 million dollars, 200, 300 million dollars to education policy on gender equality. Yeah, that's actually. Yeah, let's actually do full funding to, uh, education policy on gender equality. Uh, classes for the exceptionally gifted. Let's do full funding for that. And teaching of the local languages that will cap us off at $9.009 million. Nearly $9.01 million. Billion dollars uh, for education funding. All right, that is our new uh, education budget priorities for the United States. And then let's do secondary teaching, $1.2 billion. Agricultural training, $2 billion. And $800 million. Can we do... No, let's do $800 million. Uh, and then let's do medical training and scientific training and law, economy, law, and commerce. That'll be $5 billion dollars uh, for our educational needs. Then let's invest about 40 new university centers across the United States. We actually could do 50. So one for each state. No, well, actually, that's not... We have, like, how many, how many territories do we have? Let's look. So that we have 54 regions and outlying territories 54 one each that's going to be about 50 billion dollars that we are spending on university centers alone it'll be done in less than five months starting construction so it'll be, it'll be done by about 2024 that's going to be 727 education centers university centers for the united states can we do inspection and monitoring of school programs? Can we loosen the federal grip on education? Uh, we actually might not because we are a left-leaning uh, uh, presidency, so we want to uh, ensure that the United that, that the government has a, a fine grip on our educational system because that's uh, to ensure. Right, look at that! Look at that! Oh wow! So instead of Japan being our number two uh, largest lender of money to the United States, China is actually number one now. So they're our, they're our largest lender of, uh, of money in, t in terms of our total debt. So our t total public debt as a percent percentage of our GDP is 100%. Uh, so we are about to policy is not consistent with the objectives jointly established in the countries enrolled in various conferences on climates. Now, speaking of climates, let's go ahead and go over here. Elise, we still have... Yep, we do. So let's go ahead and pause this. Instruction. What is our CO2 emissions looking like? CO2, and it is uh, dropping very rapidly. Let's go ahead and uh, institute another 40,000 um of the wow that is going to be a lot so let's do twenty thousand. can we do that 15 billion dollars wow for, just for air filtration 
Just for air filtration, you're spending so much money. Let's do 5,000 just to start off with. I'll get us to 15,000 and then let's do 3,000. Um, $11 billion for the emission source. Can we? No. Yeah, we're going to hold off on that, but we do have a meeting with the Irelands. Sure. Let's do that. And you're Pose an alliance. Let's do a non aggression pact. Nope. Looks like you don't want to do that. <clears throat> Purchase chemicals. Uh, let's see if we can. Uh, cereals. No. Wait, what is their production? Consumer electronics. Yeah. Looks like we're not going to be able to do that much. See, that's the, that's the downside of the United States in terms of trade. And that's why I'm kind of glad they're doing a trade uh, update. Because, like, it, you can't do anything in terms of contracts with the United States unless, like, you invest a ton of money into oil production. Um, so that is the downside of... Um, playing the United States because you can't sell anything. And that's the thing that sucks. They also have a uh, meeting with France. Good morning. Economic contract and water supply networks, $1.2 billion. <laughs> um, so he wants to purchase from me. He wants to purchase. Can Let's go ahead and up the request. See, compared to our total economic output, $2 billion is just not going to cut it. Yes. Thank you. And that'll be it from our uh, public meetings. Debt. So budget excess, $3 billion right now. Um, and uh, at the beginning of 2021, it was $1.1 trillion was our... Uh, public deficit the funeral will take place next yes let's go ahead and look at our civil servant pay and a total is 3800 let's go ahead and increase the amount we're paying our administration increase the amount we're paying our army increase the amount we're paying our health 14 billion dollars That'll throw, up, throw us at $4.8 trillion in our public spending. Let's increase the amount we're paying our education. It's going to be about $20 billion. And we can afford that for right now. State employees. And then let's look at this. Yes, a total is now at $4,000. So that's the total amount that we're giving our, or the average amount that we're giving our public employees. And then let's go ahead and check our over to population gdp per capita that is on the rise so it is on a pretty good uh, uh, increase we're going to try to get that to about sixty-five thousand dollars by the time that we leave office or at least whenever we leave uh end this episode father sky space program scheduled liftoff will be next week that is going to be a very interesting uh launch and we want to make sure that that is uh, not going to fail. Let's go ahead and do some final checkups uh, on the Father Sky program. Let's go ahead and look. This is going to Uranus. And interest uh, one star. Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, $8.1 billion. And let's do $2.2 billion before we send it off. Confidential information on Pakistan. Secretly finances martyrs for gods terrorists which attack Israel. That's interesting. We actually also are now carrying another surplus. It looks like Cyprus and Turkey are at war, and Greece and Turkey are at war. Is Greece going to retake Constantinople? That's going to be very interesting if uh, the Greeks can retake their former capital city of Constantinople. Come on, I'll, I will support you in take retaking the Mamara region from the Turks. We, we Let's do it, Greece. Let's do it. Greeks and Turks. Raging conflict between the Turks and the Greeks. 
That is because they're atta attacking the separates. I don't know what the relations are between them. Let's go ahead and go to the Father Sky launch. Journey to Mars, Father Sky program, imminent liftoff. Let's go ahead and watch. Yeah. successful liftoff from the Father Sky program. That is uh, amazing to see that we successfully did not waste $10 billion just to see it blow up on launch. Um, journey to Mars and good You're job. conservative. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So that means that our credit rating is back to normal and debts. Let's go over to agencies, and yes, we have a triple A rating from every single one of our creditors. Vietnam. What about what's the Russians looking like? What's our credit rating? Um 1118, triple B, triple B, triple B, and a what a single A. And so there are triple E, triple A, a triple B, and uh, a single A. Very interesting stuff out of the Russian economy. Are we doing any import contracts on oil? So we're going to be playing into July. So we got about a month left Incre in this episode. Economy, gold reserves agreements, and the Washington Jakarta agreements. Oh, that is our coal agreement. <clears throat> Very good relations with the Republic of Iraq. But, I wonder, what about, let, yeah, let's go ahead and sign a agreement to import some oil from Iraq. That'll actually lower inflation. That's going to be five years for that. Our uh, agents that have infiltrated this organization confirm their window of opportunity. It goes with Yeah, let's go ahead and take down the drug cartels that run rampant in Mexico. That'll be the biggest victory of this episode if we are able to dismantle them completely. So they did sign an $88 million, $88 billion contract that'll end in 2028. Congratulations. You have negotiated a splendid contract that will undoubtedly help improve our economy. Again, well done. Awesome. We get a very good uh, uh, a contract from our uh, trade minister, and there was an explosion in a library in Salt Lake City that killed. A seven bomb has people. gone off in a public library in the town. Many people have been killed, including the librarian. The terrorists left a message on the entrance calling to destroy all places spreading lies and narrow thinking of the leaders of this country. All right, let's go ahead and see. Do we have anyone? Uh, Angela Biden will take place. Let's go ahead and do in that. In a statement sent to the press, the terrorist organization has claimed responsibility for the operation. All right, so the terrorist. We're gonna wait a couple of days, and then we're gonna launch a full investigation into every single uh, terrorist group that we can find. So let's go ahead and. Mexico partial As cancelment. I'm let's continue. And let's read the newspaper real quick. France. Indy 500. Displays a belonging government with action. Explosion in the library. Seven dead. So that was the Jihadist Caliphate. Our goals are accomplished. This operation is a natural response to those who scorn our rights and liberties and shed the blood of our brothers. Uh, more than ever, we are determined to fight a corrupt and illegitimate power to the end. Interesting. Uh, United States and Iraqi heads of state signed historic economic contract between the countries for a total of $117 billion. Is, is that Char Charles Manson? Like, 
just bomb Salt Lake City? Is that is that what happened? And by the way, like that the jihadist the jihadist caliphate will like attack the one place of the country that's like completely uh, like Mormon. So that would be it's a, a very interesting uh, way to uh, a place to uh, detonate a bomb for the jihadist caliphate. Um, all right, so onshore, let's go ahead and invest about three billion dollars. Let's see where we can actually get this at. We do average, let's do it closer to the coast. Let's do good and one point for terawatts. Let's go ahead and since we're past the midterms, let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna expand some of the oil production. I'm only gonna do it by five. There's a lot right here. I've actually been able to finally tell where these um, uh, oil places are. You're actually able, if you actually literally look up uh, uh, on Google and then look up, I actually also have a video about it. I'll try to link it here. Um, essentially, if you look up a map on Google and, and look at like a shale, loca shale oil fields in the United States, uh, then usually, essentially what I found is that, you know, there's a lot right here in the Permian Basin. There's also a lot right here in the Fort Worth Basin, which is around right here. Um, let's also do about five gas wells. We're going to do that. Um, but yeah, like uh, that's essentially what I found is that uh, there is a lot of uh, uh, oil that you're able to find if you literally just go to Google and look up a map of it. That's actually what I was able to find, and I, and I was able to uh, make the video, and the video is very interesting because I kind of like go through and I say like, like here's the Permian Basin, here's the Kansas Basin, here's the Oklahoma Basin, here's a Fort Worth Basin, and you're able to find basically every single piece of oil uh, in the country. All right, so we have less than a month left uh, in this episode, so we're going to continue to go up. Inflation is going up a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and increase our interest rate to about 4%. Help fight that inflation. Forest fire in California, that is unfortunate. So let's go ahead and go over to Diplomacy. We have the contract. Let's look will help us uh, provide a uh, little contract contract will let us provide a very low price that, that is really weird to read uh, and this contract will provide a large part of the supply that we need so that is good that we are able to um, import oil that'll help us fight inflation and also help us uh, fund uh, the necessary things that we need for our economy it'll last about five years and we will be able to um, go on from there. So industry, let's do automobile construction, subsidizing literally everything. How much are we getting here? Let's do about $5 billion for automobile construction. Automobile construction, building housing and roadway to do 10 billion dollars for you getting a lot of surplus right now so we're going to be spending that surplus on subsidies peter hall hardware industry what about consumer electronics we're making about 10 additional billion dollars on that what about great public bionics 93 billion dollars wow uh, 30 billion dollars in profits. Why did I not uh, nationalize this? Big, if, whenever you unlock pe great public bionics, you guys should nationalize it because it is a piggy bank. It is a piggy bank to have utility vehicle construction. 
very, very profitable industry for that. Eh, about half as profitable. profitable. Energy. Did I not nationalize 3G EPR? Dang. Dang, that sucks. I did not nationalize 3G EPR. That is a very miss, missed opportunity on my part. You know how much money? Look at that. Literally all of this is going to be inside of your state. Like, you're not even making the money off of the tax. Like, you're making it out of whatever profits that you get. I like to nationalize, and then whenever it basically gets off on its feet, then you make the money by privatizing it, allowing the uh, private companies to come in and uh, allowing the private companies to come in and take it over, and then that actually allows productivity to go up. By the way, let me check something real quick while we play this. Uh, Politic, WTO, we are still in the World Trade Organization. So that is good. I actually have an Australia gameplay where I got kicked out in 2020, 2025. I was nationalizing so much. And let's go ahead and close off this episode. I'll go ahead and see you guys uh, at the end of the month and I will uh, see... Uh, if anything happens, I will go ahead and continue on. Uh, but before we do that, the population of estimated at nearly 7.84 billion dollars. Wow, let's go ahead and give them 10 billion dollars uh, additional money. Uh, and then, yep, yeah, I'll see you guys at the end of the month, and we will end this episode there. Alright, we are now at the end of the month. We just paid off nearly $70 billion to our debt. $65.8 billion is our, is our cash surplus. That is the largest amount, I believe, that we have ever paid off to our national debt. And actually, at the end of this episode, we are now at 95%. Uh, public debt to GDP ratio that is an, an extraordinary uh, uh, policy that we have made and that is an amazing number to see in terms of that our budget excess right now is about a hundred billion dollars it's actually look yeah it is about a hundred billion dollars so that is an amazing number to see that we are making so much money right now and that our growth is basically carrying us uh, uh, to economic prosperity this is the largest federal surplus that we have had since the year 2000 about two, 23 years ago before all of that was squandered in the uh, economic recession the tax cuts of the bush administration and as well as uh, the wars in iraq and afghanistan so let's go ahead and uh leave a like subscribe to the channel if you are new Let, guys again let's hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of this month july 4th is going to be the goal that we are having uh go ahead and share this video share my channel please 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 let's hit 5,000 subscribers i want to beat gen z in our uh a, a subscriber war so let's beat him before july 4th go ahead and leave a like subscribe to the channel if you are new and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you guys so much for watching and take care